Not just swinging a hatchet at police, but threatening to throw it at them. A belligerent suspect refuses to listen. His combative attitude unswayed even after the electric shock of the police conducted energy weapon. The only reaction, screaming. Then comes the pepper spray, but even that doesn't work. The police at one point pleading with him. Despite all of this, the police choose restraint over lethal force. This wasn't a normal call where they're doing a risk assessment and they're prepared in their mind for a man wielding a weapon. They get there and it just erupted out of nowhere. And so they had to really think on their feet and not just think for themselves, but think for the general public. So here in a part of town that gets more than its share of police calls, kudos for how this one was handled. They kept them alive, they tasered them, they did all of the non-lethal lethal things they could do. And it worked out. If they handled the guy, nobody got hurt, and yeah, then they did their job, right? The police then stick with their plan not to let a bad situation get worse, even as the suspect, unarmed, runs off. He would eventually be arrested after one more encounter with that conductive energy weapon. They did really well with the circumstances. They did exceptionally well with the circumstances that came before them, kept their heads, and everything turned out well. There is a long list of charges in this case, and a suspect alive to face them. Kent Mulgat, CTV News, Kamloops.